I actually come from a family of models, guys. Um, we mainly do like cigarette packet warnings and stuff. But um, also, my dad is the guy whose outline they used for the green man on like pedestrian crossings and stuff, you know? Um, so you've had a lot of very like energetic, lively performers tonight. It's funny, you know, the funny thing about the Ed Sheeran thing is that it happens once for you, for me, for me. After four, time, after four times the day that people had said I look like Ed Sheeran, I'd finally forgot. So thank you for reminding me. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's really annoying because it's not like a valid thing that you can get annoyed about, you know what I mean? Like people have actual troubles in their life, but I'm just like everywhere I go, I'm just like, oh my God, please shut the fuck up, I don't care. You know what I mean? But then if I go and tell people about it, they're like, dude, that doesn't sound that bad, you know? It's really, it's really sad for me. So my name is uh, Callum McLeod, which is a very common Scottish name. It's actually such a common name in Glasgow that there are more people up there called Callum McLeod than people who are just called Callum. Um, <laughs> and you get this really weird thing going on when you have so many people with the same name in one place where whenever you're walking around and you have two people called Callum McLeod and they bump into each other, once you've locked eyes with them, you either have to fight them <laughs> or you have to fuck them. <laughs> so... I've killed a lot of people <laughs> called Callum McLeod because my dick is so massive. <laughs> um, if there's anyone here tonight called Callum McLeod, <laughs> please avoid me <laughs> because the police in London haven't been getting the excuse, you know. Um, so I'm gonna tell you some jokes tonight that I've recent, written recently um, that I've been struggling to understand myself. Um, so the first joke is, it's just that I don't get why you would call, ever call anyone skinny, just because we're all quite skinny in terms of skin. You know? So I'm, I'm going to tell you a bit about my parents. So um, my parents are kind of like, you know, they're kind of hippies. Um, and when they got married, they decided that, they, you know, they, they thought that marriage was a very kind of traditional institution. So they wanted to do it in like a kind of funky, progressive way. So they decided that when they got married, actually my dad was going to take my mum's name. And that is why both of my parents are called Susan. Um, <laughs> and... Um, my dad, he's a very interesting character. Um, he got bullied a lot at school, um, you know, and he's very quiet and shy, and the other kids were just so mean to him. And eventually it got so bad that he had to stop picking me up at the school gates. <laughs> um, okay, the next joke I'm gonna tell you is, um, Imagine how much scarier golf would be if Tiger Woods was a place. <laughs> so, um, my friends. So, my friends uh, like to go out a lot. And uh, recently they went out and they got into a pretty nasty bar fight. And uh, it, was, it was pretty bad. One of them got a black eye, um, another one got a broken arm, and I was really hurt too because I wasn't invited to the pub. <laughs> um, recently, uh, a few months ago actually, I, I bought this house plant, but I forgot to water it for a while, um, and then it died. But I still keep it around my flat just so that anyone who visits me knows that I'm capable of killing something. Um, so I've, I've, be, I've been living in this flat. I've been living in this flat with, it's myself and four women. And there's... 